Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, The Search Authority, and today, uh, in my last video I talked about how you can use uh, Google Shell to act as a Linux machine for you that already has Python, Docker, and all that stuff, so you can run certain OSINT tools that are Linux-based. Um, that's the last video. Highly recommend you see that video before you mess with this video so you understand where I'm at, because I'm kind of not starting from the beginning. So, let's say the tool that we want to use is this one, Phone in Foga. The first thing you're going to want to do is get to where um, you can look at the code, the documentation, that kind of stuff. So you're going to push documentation, which is going to get you here, and you're going to look at installation. When you get here, you have two choices for how to install it. What this, using all of this plethora of info, or this down here using Docker. Since the console comes with Docker, you know, let's be simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this particular bunch of code. Boom. And what we're going to do is come over to our console. I've already opened it up, a new console, new everything. And I'm going to go ahead and pluck it in there and push enter. And it's going to go ahead and install everything. It already did. There it is. Image is up to date, blah, 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 blah. So now we want to run it. So we know it's in Docker, so we have to put Docker space. We want to run it. Gee, Captain Obvious, run. Now we want to put a dash IT, which is a command yelling it to, you know, we're going to run it. And then we got to put the name. Now the name is this part up in top where it's sundown dev front slash phone in Foga. So what we're going to do is type it, sundown. Now you could copy. I don't recommend copying it because that sometimes can mess things up for you. So we're going to do phone in Fogo. Sorry, I don't spell. Spelling's not one of my best suits. It's a whole bilingual thing. So I want to make sure I get it all right. So we got sundown dev front slash phone in Foga, front in Foga. All that's great. Now, what do we want to do? We're scanning for a phone number. Scan. That's what phone info is, and I'm sorry, I should have specified it. It's a tool that allows you to have a phone number and do a whole bunch of research on it. So we're going to do scan. Next, we're going to put minus N. What are we scanning for? A number. And then next, we're going to put in the number. Now, keep in mind, you need a country code. I'm going to scan my number, which is 253-520-3305. It's one of my numbers. And I put in the country code 1, and we're going to push Enter. And it's going to do all that. Now, what is all this? All this is mainly Google, Google dorking, which, as you know from previous videos, is just a more advanced Boolean. And it just tells you it's Google dorked looking for the phone number itself. It did it in Twitter. It did it in LinkedIn. It did it in Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Down here, it tells you, that, hey, you know what? This phone number is good. It's in the U.S. Everything's great. Here's the international number for it. Here's this. this. Everything's good. That's a pain in the butt to look at. You know, in order to do anything, you'd have to copy and paste and put these in there. There's an easier way for this particular tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to do it again. Docker. We're going to do space. And again, we are running. Now, if those of you wondering what I'm looking at, I've written the code down. Um, though I remember the code, I still like to have it written down um, just in case I forget because I... I'm not a programmer. I'm someone that can program. So sometimes it's kind of like when I'm in Python. Every once in a while I forget a syntax. So I have a book I look up on. Um, so I'm looking just to make sure I don't miss anything. So again, we're going to do dot .it. Only this time we're going to change something. We're going to put a dash P, which is basically for port. We are going to use the most common port there is, which is 8080. Um, all computers have them. All systems have them. And there we go. 8080, 8080 good to go. Now we're going to space and we're going to now point it to where we want, which is sun down dev front front phone in Foga, phone, oops, in Foga, excuse me, phone in Foga. Let's make sure I didn't misspell anything. Sun down dev phone in Foga. Over that looks good. And we're going to space. Now we're going to hit the word serve. Now, obviously that's self-explanatory serve. Give us the info server, server, you know, pick your one. And then we'll hit dash P again. And we're going to say 8080. And that's it. So look at what we did. We wrote the Docker, because it's Docker. We're running the dash IT just like before, dash P, because we want to port 8080. We're doing sundown dev. We're saying serve, dash P again for the port to make sure it, again, knows which port, 8080. And now we're going to run. And you're going to get that. Now, you're probably going, what the heck is that? doesn't help me much either. It doesn't need to, because if you come up here to where it says web preview and push it, and say web preview on port 8080, which is how we know it's good. Boom. Give it a second. And there it is, right in front of you. Phone and Foga. And now we can do it the good way. So 1, 2, 5, 3, 5, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0, 5. We're going to hit run. Did I hit run? Let's hit run. And boom, there we go. 
Right here is the U.S. information, and then down here is where you get the fun part. Let's go down here. General information. These are all the links. So this link is where it did a general Google search. Okay, I'm not a robot. Open up for the phone number. And as you can see, it already knows it's me, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's get out of that one. This is another one where it did in text. This was one way. This is looking for documents. This is in text. Down here are the social ones. Now with Facebook, when you open it, you're going to have to add another option. You'll notice it says this or this or that. The other option you're going to have to do is or um, in text. And then you're going to want to put your colon, your, you know, your two dashes, um, quotes. And you're going to want to put one space, 253 in brackets, space, excuse me, 20, um, whatever my error code was, 253, then 520-3305, because that's the way Facebook lists those emails. If I open it right now, it's not going to list me anything. And then down here is footprints as it relates to different sites that carry phone numbers, and then reputation footprint, temporary number footprints, and so on and so forth. Now, you see here where it says you can open them all? Yeah, don't do that. Each one you open is going to eat up resources on your chroming, and you don't want to do that. So you want to open them one at a time because you really don't need them all open anyway. And that's it. That's how this particular tool is run. Um, it's really simple. Now, I am I already got the code written, so let, let's go over here. This is how you get to the Cloud Console. You'll sign in with Gmail. Everybody should have one. And if you don't, okay, get one. This is the code. This is to pull it. And where you put it, this is to run it and what needs to go at the very end. Remember, there is a space. That's why it says space. And this is to get to the UI, which you do all this. And then you do web preview and you get this pretty little thing, which makes it much simpler to run. And that's it. That's Phone and Foga. That's how you install it using the uh, Google uh, using the Google shell. And that's it. My name is Dean DeCosta, the Search Authority. May the source be with you.